Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. There was a big uh, update this week on the Cosmo app. You can see here version 2.1.0 and uh, there is a big change to the code lab uh, feature which I'm going to uh, show you now. So first of all we need to connect with uh, Cosmo so let's uh, click on connect and uh, First of all, as you are no aware now, it's going to search for the Cosmo network. And when you have, when we have all of the three uh, green uh, icons at the bottom, we will be connected to Cosmo. So that takes just like 10 seconds. And uh, Cosmo is going to uh, wake up very soon. There you go. So our friend is going to wake up now. Hey, buddy. How are you? You are ready to show the new code lab feature? Yeah? Okay, so we need to tap in this cover here and then the code lab. So let's have a look at the code lab. You will see the interface is entirely different. Yes, it is different, Cosmo. Oh, you don't believe me? Look at this, it's very, very different. So let's have a look first at the tabs at the bottom. You have Featured Projects, Sandbox Mode, and Constructor Mode. I'm going to start with the middle. I'm going to start with Sandbox. Let's have a look at Sandbox first. This is the original Code Lab. If you look at the top right corner, it says Code Lab. So this is the original with my projects here, 10 and 14. I find the app a bit difficult, by the way, to scroll sideways, as you can see here sometimes. So you have the same examples. Uh, the sneezing, the light on the back, and um, I have here, uh, if we look at project number 10, it kept my projects, which is uh, very good. And uh, what is new in this screen is the in the upper uh, left corner, you have this light bulb that gives you challenges. They're actually exercises. So the first one asks you, what do you do to drive forward? And you click on, uh, tap on next, and it gives you the answer. So very, very easy. So no change here. So I invite you to have a look at my uh, video on the code lab. What is different is the constructor mode. So let's have a look at that. Constructor mode. So you can build obviously a project, but before we look at the project, let's have a look at uh, this one here. Say Cosmo. Let's tap a second time. Now it's going to open. And this is the code, very, very simple. I'm going to click on the um, green flag. <laughs> and Cosmo uh, didn't say Cosmo correctly simply because I am recording my screen at the same time. So I think this is demanding too much on the processor to do voice synthesis and my screen recording. This is very interesting. I can see here a limitation, uh, but that's my, that's my cell phone. So we have here at the top, the left corner, we have two icons. One here is a glossary, which is very good. You don't have to refer to a separate book if you want to look at what the codes do. And by the way, if you are used to Scratch on a PC or Stencil, this is like exactly, or not exactly, but very close to scratch and stencil. So let's get back, let's get out of this. So here to program, you have drive functions or codes, you have actions, you have the animations, you have events, control, sensors, display, operators, and data. You can even create variable as you can see. So that's very cool. And the other uh, icon in the top left corner is very cool. Just look at that. I'm going to tap on this. Look at this. If you, if you think that you have amazing codes, you can upload to Google Drive and go to the Enki website and you can uh, upload your stuff and maybe it will be featured in the next app upgrade. So this is very, very cool. I intend actually to do 
an amazing, or I think it's amazing, or it's going to be amazing, I hope, program. So let's have a look now at the uh, examples that come with this under Featured Projects. So you have a light show. So uh, Cosmo will play music and the cubes will light. Uh, cube walk here, you can walk on the cubes. Tiny orchestra by tapping on the cubes. A fortune teller, if you shake Cosmo, he will answer your question. <laughs> this is funny. The fire truck alarm and the hot potato game. So let's have a look at the fire truck alarm. I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm not going to look at all of them. I may do you know, different videos in the future, but let's have a look at the fire truck alarm. Two things I want to do now. First of all, I want to show you the codes. You have this option, see inside. So if you tap on this, it shows you all the code and you can put comments like in any programming languages. These blocks control the timer and here these blocks display on Cosmos face the seconds left. So let's go back and just click on the other icon. Oh, it doesn't go back to the previous screen. Okay, that's interesting. So let's go back to our fire alarm truck and here we can tap on Start. I could have tapped on the green flag, but I, I wanted to show you this screen here. So click on start and see what happens. We have the display uh, or a countdown on Cosmo's face. Are you, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> this is funny. Like, this is a very cool example. And you saw the code. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So this is what's new under Code Lab, or now we should probably say Constructor Mode. And if I go back here to the previous screen, and let's quit this activity. And we're back to our main screen. So, this is very cool. As you saw, there is a lot of potential in this uh, code here. Yes, Cosmo, there's a lot of potential in you, my friend. Yes, there is. So thank you, everyone, for watching. And I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.